Baboon TV presents 10 Things Donald Trump Wants You to Forget. Number 10. The Feckhead Tweet. At the very least, a man or woman befitting the presidency of the United States should ensure due diligence before broadcasting something to the entire internet. Not the Donald, no, no. In a very shoot first and ask questions later move, Trump allowed himself to be the butt of a joke on Twitter, courtesy of self professed failed comedian Phil Bradbury, aka Feckhead. He tweeted Trump a very dated picture of a happy looking couple, adding, My parents who passed away always said you were a big inspiration. Can you please retweet this for their memory? Trump, presumably caught up in a smug moment of self importance, retweeted the back patting post. An ounce of skepticism and a quick Google search would have informed the Donald that the pleasant duo in the pic were not the parents of Phil Bradbury, but were actually convicted serial killers Fred and Rosemary West. The married couple were found guilty of torturing and raping several young girls in the 1970s. Eleven of the girls, including Fred's stepdaughter, were murdered by the Wests. Number 9. Trump Vodka Trump told Larry King that he got into the vodka business to outdo his friends at Grey Goose. Well, as of last weekend, I can verify that Grey Goose is still being served in bars, and Trump Vodka is as likely to show up on store shelves as Michael Vick Wheaties box. Sadly, Trump Vodka stopped production because the company failed to meet the threshold requirements. Number 8. Not Made in America Quote the Donald, The problem with our country is we don't manufacture anything anymore. The stuff that's been sent over from China falls apart after a year and a half. It's crap. And how about this charmer? The United States has become a dumping ground for Mexico and, in fact, for many other parts of the world. These are not snippets taken out of context. These are very deliberate and derogatory statements made about two of the largest manufacturing nations with which the U.S. trades. Enter the Donald J. Trump Signature Collection. This series of ties and other men's apparel were made in the good old U.S. of... Wait? No. Actually, the Trump Signature Collection was made in the good old Bangladesh, Mexico, and of course, China. Trump later tweeted a comment about being unhappy with the product coming from overseas, but sure didn't mind it when his ties were costing pennies on the dollar. Number 7. Trump Airlines What could be more luxurious than top-of-the-line air travel? That must be what Trump thought when he dumped $365 million into purchasing Eastern Air Shuttle. After fancying up the 17 Boeing 727 jets, the company went bust. Apparently, even wealthy frequent flyers were more concerned with convenience rather than extravagance. Number 6. Donald Trump claims to hate the B-word. Hate it or not, he can't deny that his gilded career has also been fraught with a few bankruptcies. In the August 6th Republican debate, Trump claimed that virtually every person that you read about on the front page of the business sections, they've used the bankruptcy law. If only historical data backed that claim. In reality, fewer than 20% of public companies with assets of $1 billion or more have filed for bankruptcy. Now, while the Donald has never filed for personal bankruptcy, he has filed a whopping four times for his businesses. The most recent of these was in 2009 when he filed Chapter 11 for Trump Entertainment Resorts. Number 5. How can this man not win the female voting demographic? After the very same Republican debate where Trump defended his history of bankruptcy, Donald guaranteed himself a top five spot for Miss Magazine's Man of the Year award when he berated moderator Megyn Kelly. With the Fox News pundit, Trump stated, She gets out, she starts asking me all sorts of ridiculous questions. You could see that there was blood coming out of her eyes. Blood coming out of her whatever. Her... whatever. Her wherever. Trump, not a man to back down or apologize, continued his assault on Kelly. He tweeted that she bombed, and that she wasn't good or professional during the debate. He also retweeted a post from someone who actually called Kelly a bimbo. Trump's comments grew the ire of many people, both inside and outside the political spectrum, and inspired an online Stand With Megan campaign. While he would never admit it publicly, Trump would surely take a do-over on this unseemly blunder. Number 4. At a Republican presidential forum in July, Trump ensured only crickets and tumbleweeds could be heard in the crowd when he blasted the military service of Arizona Senator John McCain. Now, to ensure proper context, McCain was a naval pilot during the Vietnam conflict. His plane was shot down and held prisoner in Hanoi for five years. McCain refused early release despite being beaten by his captors. And despite this, McCain made one comment about Trump stirring up the crazies in the Republican Party with anti-immigration rhetoric. Trump's response? He's not a war hero. He's a war hero because he was captured. I like people who weren't captured. Number 3. Mexican Imports Quoting Donald Trump, The United States has become a dumping ground for Mexico, and in fact many other parts of the world. Dumping what, exactly, pray tell? 
Just heroin, cocaine, other illicit drugs. Oh, and don't forget infectious diseases. That's a big one. Now, in all fairness, there is certainly a decent supply of drugs and other unsavory things that travel north into the U.S. Trump, though, takes it one step further and submits that Mexican government is intentionally pushing rapists, drug runners, and other criminals into the states. Naturally, after the backlash hit, Trump claimed his comments were deliberately distorted by the media. Number two. After President Obama released his long-form birth certificate in 2011, the birther rage died down considerably. As far as Trump's current thoughts on the matter? Well, when CNN pundit Anderson Cooper recently asked Trump about it, he replied, I really don't know. I don't want to get into it. And he insisted that, quote-unquote, I'm off that subject. Trump's birth reviews may no longer be front and center, but they are far from forgotten. And number one, the affair. Many of the items on this list can and have been explained away by Donald Trump as being, quote-unquote, misunderstandings, out of context, or distorted. He can say that his bankruptcies were deliberate business decisions, he can spin his China and Mexico comments. The one thing he can't spin is his affair with former mistress and eventually second wife, Marla Maples. Good going, Trump. Don't forget to subscribe for more videos.